Hello and welcome to APSC Design. After a long time, uh, today we will see about a piping spike break. What is piping spike break? How pipe spikes comes into the line? Who generated the piping spike? And how we can check in the PNID how the pipe spike break comes and how designers can do a piping spike break. Let's start with the another slide. So what is pipe spec? A pipe spec is a PMS generated by material department as per the fluid of pressure and temperature. Material are selected accordingly. It means the piping spec was creating by a material department. Okay, they create one MDB file in which that whatever the fluid in the pipe like it means like acid oil water steam okay so whatever the fluid inside a pipe so from that fluid they generated a spec a one mdb file okay if i am doing a acid line okay in an example so i do what acid temperature what acid have a pressure and what acid have a temperature from that base i have to select the material if I do oil, so I have to select, depend upon oil, pressure and temperature, I have to select the material. So I have a different, different material. So I have a different, different name of a spec. So I have a water, I have a steam, I have a gas. So whatever the fluid you have, depend upon a fluid, a material are selected. So in that part, the MDB file was generated by the piping spec. Piping spec is called a PMS. PMS means piping material specification. So this spec was mostly was created by a material department only. So how we are getting in the model. So what happened once they create the all the materials uh, and they make the spec accordingly and depend upon a fluid they generate the spec. So what we do. So they give now they the piping spike file this is the piping spike file is added in the project model by admin of the software so now if we want to use a pipe spec to in the model so what happened they generated one file and they give to the model uh, for the software admin to put in the project model so, okay so the software admin what he do he just take that file and put it in the back end of the project and it comes into the using for the designer okay from PNAD, from P PNAD we got the line number and in the line number we got the piping spec. So wherever you check the PNAD, okay, so you got the line number. In every line number you are getting a spec, but every spec is not same. Every spec have a different different name. Okay, according to that name, it means like every fluid have a different different spec. So that spec designer use that spec to model the pipe routing. So how you can identify, okay, this spec I have to use for this line or that spec for use I have to a different line. So we have some examples of different different line number. So first of all, the line number, it will be not same for all project. It should be not be the same. It depends upon project to project how the procedure of the line number. If you can see the top one, the, this is a different project this two is a different project and this three is in a different project okay so this is the name of a spec okay this is a da11 a10 ba10 okay and this is a this is the spec in this project this is a spec and this project for this is a spec so you cannot fix anything that this line this spec should be coming for another project also but the philosophy or or you can say like just for understand so this kind of things it can be changed like project wise it can be changed okay the project wise project wise the spec will be different but understand of the spec it's the same the specs like this is a cooling water okay so the spec is a10 this is a low pressure steam ba10 okay this is a hot water so they have used da11 for depend upon fluid 
they are changing the spec okay if I use AA10 for all these things so then the material will be the same only but the fluid are different but material are same so it cannot be work so it means like every spec okay depend upon fluid the spec are generated and material also are different accordingly so now what is a piping spec break the main thing I have to understand how the spec break comes in the line okay piping spec break is mostly used for change the material okay the material and the pressure rating it means if I have a one line starting from SS and then I have to change to CS okay I have to SS material to CS material so there I have to use a spec break okay when the material pressure rating change the spec break comes on the line and it means two material are connected as per the process requirement okay if as per the process requirement means if I want till SS material how long I can take it if I want to take this is a SS material from this part okay from this part I have to continue a CS material so I have to change accordingly from where I have to need a SS material and further I have to change with the another material okay never spec break comes on a line of the pipe because two material cannot weld on the pipe it means if you are changing this is a pipe this is here it comes SS material and here comes CS material so you cannot two material you cannot weld on this point so you have to be connected with the help of flange okay so it means the two material cannot be weld on the pipe that's why two materials are connected with the help of flange connection and mostly it comes on a valve so mostly it comes on a valve so now this is a some of examples okay you can see here we have a valve okay from here this is a flange okay and this is a valve in between okay in in between we have to do a spike break so what we have to do from this flange it will be a some another material and here is a another material okay so then here you have to join with the help of the flange connection and you can bolt it because here in this point we are not doing any welding here we are doing a flange connection here also we are doing a flange connection so mostly it comes in the PNID it show you where you have to do the spike break never comes in the line like this way here it can also comes like this way because you cannot do any break in the pipe because you cannot weld that's why we are doing a spike break in the flange connections or valve connections only so there we can easily two material we can join with the help of the bolting here we have some another examples okay this is a top you can see this is a top okay this some exam some of example of the spike break where two material are connected with a flange connection one side we have SS material and other side is a carbon steel material so here we have I have a same rating of flange here we have a SS material and here we have a CS material so what happened this total valve okay it comes in a SS material and from from this flange it comes a CS material okay now the second example is a related to a pressure rating okay here we are what happened here we are rating is getting changed so now second example we have pressure rating change from 300 to 150 so now what happened now what happened this valve okay this valve is comes under the 300 rating valve okay and this flange here is coming a 150 rating flange so what happened AA10 spec is a 150 rating so we don't have 300 flange in our spec so what happened AA10 spec is standing as a 150 rating line okay and B1111 is B, BB11 is a spec is a 300 rating so what happened so now B1 BB11 is a spec is standing for a 300 rating 
okay and AA10 is standing for rating 150 so what happened in 150 rating you cannot get a 300 flange so that's only we have I have tell the spec is 150 rating AA10 spec is 150 rating so we don't have 300 rating flange in our spec okay because our spec AA10 is 150 rating line so we need 300 flange to connect the 300 rating of wall so what happened we required here 300 rating flange okay to connect the rating of 300 line okay we cannot connect the 150 rating flange to 300 rating valve because now what happened our valve is 300 rating okay and here we have a flange 150 rating so we cannot connect 150 rating flange to 300 valve because the PCD of the flange is not matched to 300 rating valve means our flange is 150 rating okay the 150 flange OD and PCD it cannot match to our valve of 300 rating so that's why we have to change to 300 rating flange so now if you have if you are getting a line some kind of this so what we have to do we have to do update some of the spec log in your project you are getting a spec log excel or something so in that you have to update a spec log and in that spec log we have to write that AA10 okay A10 then you have to write uh, the your line number okay and then you have to write required you required a 300 rating flange in spec of AA10 because when the material person have created a AA10 that was a 150 rating so your all product is come into under a 150 rating only so now the situation is came that you required a 300 rating flange in the size of 6 inch so in the spec log in the whenever you work on a project so you you got a spec log okay so in that spec log you have to enter that your requirement what you required so according to your requirement the material department he can enter these things that in AA10 okay the 300 rating flange is required okay and this is a interview question if you have a 300 rating valve okay and another side you have a 150 rating valve so how you can connect so this is a interview questions comes like this way sometimes okay so you have to just an idea okay so this is a 150 rating flange okay so you can see OD is 279 okay this is a 150 rating flange here is a 279 and here we have a same size of flange 300 rating and here we have a 318 if you check the PCD also 150 rating PCD is 241.3 and here you have a 269.7 so it means the 150 rating flange OD and PCD will not match to the 300 rating flange of same size of 6 inch of flange okay the both are 6 inch flange but here we have a 150 rating and here we have 300 rating but you you can see the difference like OD is 279 here OD we have 318 so it means simple things is we cannot connect a 150 rating flange to our 300 rating valve so we have to update the spec log okay and we have to enter that we required 300 rating flange in AA10 and in interview also you have to be confident you have to say that 150 rating OD PCD is not match with the 300 rating so we have to need 300 rating flange in AA10 spec so this is a pipe spec break where we use in the PNID comes and it show you how we can uh, do a spec break and most probably some of the freshers do not understand what exactly a spike break so I just 
given the idea what exactly a spec break it means like how spec comes who generated the spec okay and how we can use a spec break while doing working in the in any softwares like sp3d e3d okay so you can have to idea to working on a software first you have to get the idea what is a spec break means and if you have a different different like a rating of valve and you have a different rating okay so you have to check wherever but the thing is wherever the spec break comes you have to get the idea when the spec break comes the flow is this way so sometimes comes here the high rating of wall it means uh, example if I have uh, this line okay this is a wall this line is 300 rating okay this line is 3 rating so you you never get the spec break before the valve because the higher rating higher rating always comes in the wall side okay so mostly if if before a valve is a spec break comes this is a 300 rating and here you are getting a 150 rating okay so what means in 150 rating you are getting a valve okay on 300 rating you are getting a flange so never comes like this way always it comes after it comes like this way 300 rating in the wall 300 rating comes and the spec break comes after the wall only the flange only the flange of 150 will replace with 300 rating flange okay so this is a some of the ideas is I have just shared with you how we can get the idea like what exactly means a pipe spec break the spec break what exactly means so I have just shared you an idea okay thank you for watching my video I will come up with more video to help fresher engineer to be a part of refinery project please click on a bell icon and subscribe my channel Thank you and I most probably um, next topic I am planning with some of the time points and support standard and uh, some of the support span. So I am planning how I can make some good videos to get the idea of uh, some of the like uh, information. You get the good information and you can help for the projects and for the most probably who is a young coming up the engineers in the piping uh, projects so that they also can get good help what exactly it means uh, some of the some small form information I will try to give uh, good videos and it will help for your for work conditions and working in the project and understand some of the documents also okay thank you and we will wait for the next video okay thank you bye